scoop that part up. See if we can recover. My uh, mini pump drill I just made uh, last night. In comparison to a pump drill I made a couple weeks ago, you can see the difference in size. So I'm going to use the Swiss Army knife as a comparison, as well as my uh, original pump drill that I made a good year or two ago. So I've got the this one here that's fairly large. Got my medium size pump drill here. Now my little mini pump drill. So what I've used here is uh, I'm not sure what the wheel. The wheel looks like it's made out of the same material that's used for a skateboard wheel or, or inline uh, roller blade, um, but it's not uh, a blade or, ro or, or a, one of those wheels. But the material, the rubber part, seems to be part of it. Um, just use the cap of a pen to use as a chuck to hold the bit in place. The bit is um, using a wild weed, so this little piece here uh, it's called dog fennel, commonly found here in Florida. So I suppose you could probably put any kind of piece of wood in there that, that's uh, ideal for friction fire making. Uh, this is a 3 8 inch wooden dowel, uh, just with a, a piece of wood with a couple holes in it to, use to hold the uh, nylon twine. I just used a couple of little washers underneath to help kind of hold it to keep the string from popping out. Um, I did uh, this wheel, it's a little bigger than 3 eighths of an inch, so I actually used some uh, electrical tape to wrap around the, the 3 eighths inch spindle uh, to have it so, because I think the, the diameter inside the wheel was like uh, 5 eighths of an inch or so. And then just used a, a couple of screws to, to uh, screw it into the, the wooden dowel so it wouldn't spin, really spin. So I'm going to use another screw here to hold the, the pen cap that I'm using as a chuck. Hold that in place on the spindle as well. So, cool thing is, is it does kind of, it's a little bit more compact now, so it's nice, a little nicer mobility wise. But I was just trying to come up with, uh, I don't know, easier ways of making the friction fire. It's, it seems so uh, tough for a lot of folks, so I was trying to find easier ways so that I can show people that I know that where it doesn't look too uh, difficult. So people would actually be, uh, be more willing to try it so, and be successful with it. So and that's kind of where I've been trying to scale down and making it easy to use, less exertion. Like most people are uh, down for that for some reason. So anyway, here's my Friction Fire, or Friction Fire Tuesday practice for today, or this week. <laughs> 